The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Microphone and your name for asking your question. Thank you. Jesse, nice to see you. It's Rob Dawson from Sky Sports News. How are you doing? Um, after the euphoria of that 6-1 victory and your wonder goal, was it difficult to sit out of the, the game against Belgium? Yeah, I think, obviously, as a player, you want to play every game. Um, you know, but it's a manager's decision, and I think everyone's played a vital part at the moment, whether it's starting or coming off the bench. So I was always prepared and, and ready to come off the bench and make an impact if, if need be. Was it the right decision, do you think, to rest eight players, change eight players for that game? Well, it's uh, obviously it's up to the manager. It's uh, the manager's decision and, and you know, the players stick by his decision. And it don't matter what, what players play, they're always going to put 100% in, no matter what. Um, you saw Portugal and Argentina go out last night, two of the big favourites for the title, even. Um, does it feel like, from an England perspective, this World Cup is opening up for you? Yeah, you can, you can say that. Um, but for us at the moment, it's it's game by game and, and see where it takes us. But um, we have to concentrate one game at a time, and, you know, focus 100% in that game and, and move on to the next game. Is it the easier side of the draw? Um, well, obviously we're going to have to play um, you know, the big teams sooner or later. And if you want to be best team in the world, you've got to be the big team. So um, we're not really fussed what side we, we, we've got chosen on. You've impressed so many people in our country and around the world with your form of this World Cup. Um, there were people maybe a couple of years ago who might have written you off. Um, now you're one of the first names on the England team sheet. Do you feel you've answered those critics? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, for me as a, as a person, as a player, um, you know, it wasn't right, right for me to read, you know, too much what was happening on the outside. And I just wanted to concentrate on my football and whatever game time I got, um, I had to make sure I did well. And, Got a lot of game time, um, you know, this season, and you know, scored goals, made assists, and you know, as soon as you do that, like I said, England will come calling, and you know, I've done more for England as well, so I've got to carry on this form. And that goal you scored, you've scored England's best goal at the World Cup so far. Uh, how was that? How did that feel to score like that in a World Cup? Yeah, it's it's an amazing feeling. Um, of course, I know my my family was was proud of that, and um, you know, we we play for the country, so. No matter what game it is, um, you know, we're always going to put 100% in, you know, for the country and, and do the country proud. Have you had a dream where you're lifting that World Cup? <laughs> of course you think about, of course you think about it. Um, but, you know, it's, we can't get too carried away at this, this current stage. Um, you know, Colombia's a tough side and, you know, we'll have to, um, you know, be on our best on the day um, to do the job and, and move on to the next round. Uh, you had a closed training session this morning. We weren't allowed to come along you were working on tactics and stuff, but this is the time before the Tunisia game where the manager told you the starting 11. Has he, t has he told you this time? <laughs> no, no. Honestly? Um, no, I swear, yeah. No, no not yet. Um, obviously, the, the tactical work's very important and you know, we work on it in training, so um, every player gets an idea of what we need to do. What specific threats do, do Colombia pose? No, I think... Um, you know, they're a great side, they're a, they're a tough side, physical side, um, you know, so we're aware of that, but, you know, our qualities and, and our threats, um, you know, could pose them problems as well. He didn't have much of an impact, he had a difficult time when he was at Manchester United, Falcao, um, but you were there, one of the youngsters when he was there. What impression did you get of him, him then? Um, no, a great finisher, I think, in and around the box, um, you know, in the penalty area is, is lethal and, you know, we'll be we'll be aware of that. Um, but you know, we've got the the men to to deal with that. Can I ask you about penalties? <laughs> if you want, yeah. Has the, has the squad got a plan of who will take them? Um, not at this current moment. Um, of course, we're practicing them. You know, after training and whatnot, and um, there's not really a, a set five yet. Um, but you know, everyone's confident enough to to go up and, and take one. You would. Yeah, of course. Why not? <laughs> You'd feel okay with that. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. And cope with the pressure. Yeah, I think you know we've 
we've been doing it anyway. This is always pressure, and um, you know, penalties 50-50. So I'll be, um, you know, I'll, I'll go up and take one. No, no problem. Jesse, Steve Scott from ITV. Continuing on that theme about pressure, a lot has been made leading up to this tournament about England playing without fear. Now it's knockout and the risks are, are far greater. How do you make sure that you don't change the style you, and the way you play? No, we don't need to, we don't need to change too much. Um, no matter what round we're in, we're still going to play the same. You know, as you said, we're going to play with no fear and, and play with that freedom. That's what's got us here, you know, today. So, so why change? We're not going to, we're not going to change for for no one or, or no team. Has the that aspect of pressure been discussed as a group and how it changes in this in in this game coming up? Not really, no. Um, you know, for us, it's it's just another game that we need to win. So, you know, like I said, this week we'll we'll do everything we can. Um, you know, to work out the opposition and what's best, um, you know, to beat them. So it's just another game for us. Just one on, on penalties. What, what's the most difficult part, do you imagine, about taking a penalty, uh, say you had to do it on, on Tuesday? Is it the execution itself or is it managing the time leading up to the execution? I think I think everything involved, um, you know, going into a penalty shootout is, is vital. Um, you know, like I said, we've been we've been doing different scenarios in training. Um, you know, to prepare us for, for them moments if, if need be. Jesse David Ornstein from the BBC. The waiting is now almost over. There's no margin for error now. Uh, this is it. Lose and England are going home. Win and the first uh, quarterfinal since 2006. Are the players aware of the magnitude? Are you ready for this huge opportunity? Yeah, I think. Everyone's excited, um, you know, more than anything. It's a great chance for, for us as players, um, you know, to, to really go far in this competition and we believe in ourselves that, that we can do that. Um, you know, like I said, this, at this moment in time, it's, it's game by game. Um, we prepare for, for every game, every opponent's different. So, you know, we go into the game, same mindset um, and same goal. How unthinkable is the prospect of going home on Wednesday? Yeah, it would, would be disappointing and, you know, we know as, as players and staff, um, we know it would be disappointing, so we've got to go out and play with, with no fear and play free, you know, enjoy the, enjoy the occasion, enjoy the moment and, and get the victory. Do the England players feel that they've reconnected with the public after so many years of disappointment? Mm. There seems to be a very different feel about this England camp. Have bridges been built? What's the feeling from you players towards the British, uh, the English public, and, and the responsibility of the shirt? No, oh, we've seen the we've seen the footage of um, of the goals going in and, and them celebrating, and you know it's it's great for our conference to see that um, you know each and every fans fans backing us and, and they're behind us and supporting us and. It's our job to, to give back to them and, and do the country proud. It's like I said, it's always an honour to represent your country, and you know we're going to put 100 percent in every performance. Has something changed in English football? We're seeing uh, much more positivity around the national team. Lots of young players. Uh, a clear focus from the FA on the style of play, um, the the sort of DNA as it was called. Um, academy players coming through, and is, are we seeing a, a, a shift in? The, the national team. Yeah, it feels like a um, you know a new revolution. Um, the managers come in with with great ideas and a great idea um, of the way he wants us to play. Um, I know the formation suits suits us perfectly, and you know as a as a group of lads, it's a it's a youthful squad, but you know we've still got them experienced players in there, um, and you know the the team spirit is amazing at the moment, and everyone's come together and we're really bonding and. You know, we're excited, we're enjoying the World Cup and we've just got to keep going now. Can you imagine the prospects of celebrating on that pitch in Moscow late Tuesday night? Yeah, definitely. It's, you know, to, to get to um, into the next round will, will be amazing. And, you know, as long as we know that everyone's behind us, backing us, um, you know, we'll do the job on the pitch for them. Any questions? I just you're seen as sort of the embodiment of this sort of newfound positivity and fun in the England squad. Are you, are you aware of that and the sort of 
people are looking at you as the sort of the, the joker, a joke in the pack, sort of in training and on social media and stuff. Are, are, you, are you happy to sort of be that sort of personification of this this new? Yeah, I mean, I think you know every player you know brings different characteristics to the squad. Um, you know, and that's a good thing. It's a it's a good mix. It's a good bond of, of different characteristics. But you know, like I said, we all get along. Um, we all know the job at hand, and, and the main job is to, to win matches. Hi Jesse, we just um, we touched earlier on how you've maybe proved some critics wrong with your own development over the last couple of years. Would you want you to talk a bit about what sort of an influence Jose Mourinho has been on you at United, and how your how you feel your game develops under him, and what sort of a sort of a figure he's been for your your career? Yeah, he's, he's been great with me. Um, you know, he's put that trust and, and faith in me to to play me in in big matches and, and week in week out. So. It was only up to me then to to repay that faith by by playing well and putting on performances. So um, you know he's, he's played a massive part in my in my development and, and you know I can only thank him for that. Jesse, you, there's a lot of talk about playing with freedom and that you have quite a free role in the team. What what does that actually mean practically? Does it, I mean, does it mean you have a little bit less defensive responsibility? What does it mean for you? No, it's, it's still defensive responsibilities. Um, I mean, when you play in midfield, you know you attack and defend. It's it's part of the job. So, I mean, when we're when we're in possession, it allows me to to get further forward. It allows me to get beyond the striker a bit more and, and get into goal scoring opportunities. Yep, just here. Hello, Milan Cambrano for the Spanish News Agency FA. I would like to know there's a lot of uh, Colombian fans in Russia these days, and I would like to know if you think uh, you're afraid of some kind of threat to you uh, in, the, in the game. Is going to have more support for Colombian team than yours? No, I don't, I don't see no threat. Um, you know, the, the England fans will be out in, in numbers as well, and I'm back in the soul. Um, you know, as long as we feel that inside the stadium that our fans are there, um, you know, it's perfect for us. Okay, that's it for the live section. We'll take questions now, 10 p.m. UK.